Hello and once again welcome to the Small Axe Productions and to your author you should have. and your uh, <laughs> your creator for Peter Emmanuel the first the Wait, founder of God Electronic Army, God Electronic Army Press, the Avenging Army of Francois Macandal, the Conquering Army of Francois Macandal, the leader of the Resurrection Project. And today, mm. I come to na to narrate this video for you, okay. which uh, is a collection of videos about the activities taking place in the city of Plano. Now you have to understand that if I, as a civilian, yeah, have access to done, you gotta get some Mexicans. get in real time and near real time satellite you have to get a white person or a Chinese so person that means that I can keep abreast crew. of all the changes and all the work that is taking place in the city of Plano currently. And Exploitation we are a very affluent 101. City, a very affluent area. Exploitation and, 102 you know, there's and 103. No rain. There's no rain. So and I no make no apologies now. My name in is the city of Emmanuel. Plano. No water is coming in. And what you're seeing here is a lot of re-roofing taking place, right? And in order to put a roof on in the city of Plano, you're supposed to get a city permit which is $75, $75. But what we have going on here is what we call very, very selective enforcement. Because you see, if I, as a black, Sephardic Jew, would put my roof on without a city permit, somebody's gonna come knocking at my door. If I would put my roof on without dealing with my homeowners association, I am probably going to end up with a lawsuit and with some fines. Now, I have called the city numerous times about the activities taking place, not just That's interesting. All over the, the overseer is in the in car. My specific subdivision. While the Mexicans are working here in the heat. Bridge, subdivision. It is so wonderful And to they see all want to tell me, well, if you see something, say time. something, call, call. Slavery all over again. And my dear friends, Slavery and never alike, ended. I have called. I had a Chinaman come up to me and tell Those me that are. my house that I've lived in for 27 years is not my house. And there's no way I can own that house. Let's come on. And the police came Man, and they sided with Mexican him and they arrested me and took me to the hospital for psychiatric say. evaluation. Okay. It has dawned on me Girl, it's not much that the city of Plano not much must think that I am wacko, I'm psycho, I'm crazy. Yeah. Not right, because so of anything I've done. To be crazy and or to this act is crazy. on day star but for the mayor's fact that i can famous. speak and and, and and again it's 108 degrees it's Excuse 108 me. degrees i'm having a problem Who, well, what about the rights of these workers do these workers have some rights when you're doing the work you have to take a break from damage Shouldn't time they be protected? The while you're doing why the are these people being exploited so i'm sorry by the contractors why are they being exploited where's the supervisor well, where's the white a welcome company owner to be out so there in the heat with the workers all this in videos. the struggle and in the fight I'll La lucha continua. To the I've sent La to lucha the continua. I've sent it to the whole La department. Lucha continua. And I have si. addressed si. the city manager directly. <laughs> La Lucha a continua. A man named Matt Israelson. And I told Mark in one These of those videos. These people have to feed their families. That I'm going to come for and his so job. And so they'll take what work they can I'm get. But they're being exploited. I know they are. And they know because they are. Because you see, we're talking about not just the fairways of Ridge subdivision. We're talking about oh, now it's gone. tens of thousands of homes What's in Plano. Shit is there? We're flying by night, was in a fucking video. storm chase, chasing contractors have come and scared people. And and um, everybody's going real, real quick to replace their roof. It's interesting to and see how this And we know when the hailstorm came, 
you know, 107 degree temperature. And we know that we're in a drought period right now. The fat guy is on the ground. And who's to know? Who and he have the workers I mean, up there the working. Changes in the environment. Right. The changes in, in, and in, in the ecological they are, system. They're in 107 the degree heat. The changes in weather patterns. And look at him sit down. He's Even sitting down. In the middle of August. He's sitting down. We could suddenly have it's another very hail storm. Very interesting. Or we could suddenly have some tropical or some torrential rains that could come. So everyone is moving quickly to change the roofs. And the city of Plano has a noise abatement ordinance. That means you cannot just make noise for the sake of making noise. And they sent the police after me in 2019. And I don't, I'm not a Negro. I don't have a boom, boom box. I have a little stereo set. And if you hear it, I can barely hear it in my house. Much less for you to hear it several houses down from me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play it for you. And it's at full blast, level 32. Now this is the sound of my stereo in my room at 32, the highest that it will go to. And the policeman came and he threatened me. He told me if I turn it back on, he'll come and cite me. But you have these people here and they wake me up in the morning with the sound of the nails that they're shooting into the shingles. And most of the people that's doing the actual work are undocumented immigrants. I have nothing against the undocumented immigrants. They have a right to come to El Norte. They have a right to come to Estados Unidos to earn a living and to do better for themselves and their family, no different than I did 45 years ago. But what I have a problem with is that many of these people the people who have the contract, the people who are doing the work, are very often of European descent, or of a lighter skin, um, Latin American descent. And the people doing the actual work are undocumented campesinos. You see, I'm driving through the alleyway here. I'm documenting everything. I have a dash cam. On some of my videos, you'll see people coming to confront me, asking me, why am I taking the picture? And like I say, a lot of things that's happening today, a lot of conflicts is not because necessarily of racism, but it's because of ignorance and lack of information. How can you stop a person from taking a picture of your house? How can you stop me from driving around with a dash cam on my car and taking pictures? You can't. How can you stop me from being a YouTube creator? You can't. So I want to say to the city manager of Plano that you have to be impeached because we're talking about tens of thousands of houses in the city of Plano. And I did a back of the hand calculation. Somebody just drove down my alleyway going really, really fast. You know, I'm gonna throw a uh, a damn uh, piece of wood out there to obstruct them because you never know when somebody could come running or backing out from their driveway and they're coming through there racing. Where they're going, I don't know. But anyway, uh, you see, this is a collection of videos. Some is roofing, some is just driving. But the bottom line I want to tell you is that Plano and the city manager has abdicated his fiduciary responsibility to the city and to the citizens of Plano and the city permit department. They are God damn liars. They're fucking liars. Because if I can walk around and drive around and see all the 
roofs that's being replaced without permits. And every time I pull up on a replacement, the people get very defensive because they know they don't have a permit and they're supposed to have it on display. I know that the city of Plano can send people out to do this inspection. One thing I, can say about a camera, I think this is me driving to Frisco to my camera, dental or my doctor's or appointment or to camera, my hairdresser's appointment. Because I love the movie. GoPro. I like how it's almost like a movie, you know, the way it, it takes the picture, really especially when you're in motion. So if you look at a video, what I'm trying to tell you is that video recording, so Mark. The city manager has to be overthrown. He has to be impeached. And, maybe that's why and Peter Emanuel is coming to get involved in city politics. Because the only politics that matters is local politics. It's not about getting Trump re-elected. It's not about getting Greg Abbott re-elected. It's about the politics and the ordinances in your city and I am a, a well person I have integrity I have credi credibility and many of these people who are running things today they don't even have a basic education this woman right here is the interpreter for an Iranian man two houses down from me where the entire crew don't speak Spanish this is a picture of the arrogance of a contractor having their trailer sticking out into the alleyway and my son almost had an accident with it. So what I'm saying to you is that as citizens of Plano, as people of Plano, we are losing a lot of money because the city manager, the permits department, the building department refuses to even, and, and they could even send the police. What is the police doing? The police have nothing to do. There is no high crime going on in Plano at any given time. They are not on a high speed chase. They themselves could be commissioned to drive around to check on who is putting up a roof with or without a city permit. And they're being paid well. Why not assign them this activity? So Mark, you have abdicated your fiduciary responsibility to us. And I'm making a promise to you today that I'm going to come and I'm going to unseat you. The same way that I unseated Greg Russian the same way that I kept Greg Russian from becoming city manager, what happened? Was he trying to kill you to get to the city manager position? Did you all have a shootout at the Oki Corral? Did he draw and did you draw on him? But you know Greg is no longer in the running. Greg resigned because the curse of Mimi, the curse of the voodoo master, the curse of Peter Emanuel, was placed. I think this is a picture of my own roof here. Uh, I'm not sure, but I have roof damage too, and I have to replace my roof. But I want a white roof. I want a white roof because I believe that white is right and white is might. And I believe that white reflects heat. And in this type of temperature, you need something that reflects the heat away from you. So I want a white roof. That's my intent, is to replace my roof with a white roof. The same way the man on, on this star painted his entire house white. All the bricks are white, the mailbox is white, and then he got a dark roof on top. Well, you know, black is beautiful, but we're not gonna go black with our roof, okay? So let me tell you, is this really my roof? Yeah, that is my roof. That is my roof. It's very steep. Yeah, it is my roof. And and that's my trees in the back. So that's my roof. And we're going to put a white roof on there because white power. What we want? White power. When do we want it? Now.
white power, white power. What do we want? White power. When do we want it? Now. White power. Anyway, so much for fun. So here's another one. And every time I pull up, they, they get very defensive. And it's not the ordinary illegal workers. It's actually the half more light-skinned Mexicans. The Mexicans have gone up to Super Zivory roles. The Salvadorians and the Guatemalans and the Hondurans are doing the work. And the other thing is the evil. The evil of saying you're a compassionate conservative. You're a Republican. You're anti-immigrant. But it's okay for you to bring undocumented immigrants into our neighborhoods where they are not verified. If a U.S. citizen needs a job, they have to have proof of citizenship. They have to do a drug test, a background check, a credit check. And you bring these people into our neighborhoods and they could come and rape me. That's interesting. Not even my daughter or my the wife. Car. They could fucking rape me While the Mexicans and are sodomize me. Without fuckplay so and without lubrication, and my ass is torn apart. In the modern time, I do not feel slavery safe all over again. in my own home slavery and in my again. own neighborhood, especially after a Chinaman came and told me, "This is not your house. Is no way you own this house." And the Plano Police Department came and they sided with him. My dear friends and four like. You have to know that something is going to come out of that. And this is the ugliest house in the neighborhood. The ugliest house in the neighborhood. And they have never been fined or cited. They have gaping holes in their roof. But I want you to know, Mark, yes, I'm coming to participate in city government and I'm coming to impeach you for abdicating your fiduciary responsibilities to the city of Plano and to the taxpayers of Plano.